Once upon a time, there was a lush, green planet called Earth. The seas teemed with life and the land blossomed with abundance. Then people came. It didn't take long for us to set up house and create a world filled with challenges. Like some standalone power plants that could benefit from even more efficiency to prevent energy waste, and individual heating systems clearly in need of optimization. Yet we had towering expectations when it came to energy usage. More, we wanted more, more work, more play, more comfort. But from a global perspective, things were heating up. The concept called district heating and cooling had the potential to be used in more and more places to meet these challenges in a more efficient way. And while people in the know preached the benefits of district heating and cooling, only a few committed souls were able to turn talk into action. That is, until the climate debate took off in earnest and the topic of reform really spread. Now even the politicians are getting involved. Exciting new renewable energy alternatives are popping up. And district energy, as we now call it, can plug into all of them, enabling a variety of highly intelligent systems that can optimize according to the energy source. Now, district energy is capturing audiences just about everywhere. Meanwhile, the heating infrastructure is changing, and someday people will even be able to feed surplus energy back into the system. What's more, the concept of district energy is spreading far beyond its traditional borders. District energy just keeps getting hotter. For good reason, since it cuts CO2, increases energy efficiency and supply security, and decreases both the price of energy and our reliance on fossil fuels, all while letting us keep our comfortable lifestyle. It points to a world filled with opportunity, if only we take advantage of it.